All right, so you either currently have a flower business of some sort or you're thinking about starting a flower business. One of the key components of having a floral business that is successful is creating a business model where people can actually find you so that they can hire you for your products and services. We all know that. One of the key components of that is a good working website. Now, with that in mind, it goes beyond just having a website in order to get people to find you. And that's where optimizing your digital footprint for your business is essential for any business, especially for creative entrepreneurs of any type right now, in order to get people to find you. Optimizing your digital footprint as well as your website where SEO or search engine optimization comes in is what makes that happen. Now, I want to paint a picture for you to help you better understand what SEO does in order to enable people to actually find you online. So, picture this scenario. You're finding a spot to actually operate your business from. It could be a home-based business if you're st setting up a home-based studio situation, or you're actually looking for a commercial studio space, or you're looking for a commercial retail storefront type location. You're trying to find just the right spot. It looks good from outside. You get lots of inspiration from it. And then you go to open the door to look inside to see if it's going to be workable for you. When you open the door and you walk inside, and it more than likely, especially if it's a commercial space you're looking for, it's completely empty. Oftentimes. For small businesses, especially for creative entrepreneurs and florists, you fall in that category. We have websites that look really pretty from the outside, but from a functionality standpoint and a searchable standpoint online, it's like walking into that empty space. There's nothing there. So SEO, and optimizing your digital footprint for your business, for your small business, especially now when you very likely are the person responsible for doing all of this stuff, it comes down to creating content. Creating digital text content on your website is one of the biggest, most important aspects of priming your business, setting yourself up for success, and enabling your business to be found online by the people you want to do work for and enabling them to find the products and services that you have to offer. So if you right now feel like mm, things just aren't really working out and you maybe just feel like you're standing still with your business or you're downright falling behind, or maybe you haven't even started yet, keep this rule in mind. Content creation. The more content you create enables the search engines to find you. Once you get that content created and optimizing it for search, where search engine optimization comes into a play, that's what you're focusing on, on your website, as well as anywhere else you have a profile for your business online. So in addition to whatever your creative outlet is that you are operating for your business, Add to your list of professions that you work and add that as being a content creator for your small business. Now, if you are in the process of continually working on optimizing your digital footprint and 
perfecting your SEO strategies. I've got some other videos over here in the end screen you might want to check out next. Until next time, and until I see you in the next video, be thinking content creation and making it searchable for your ideal client avatar. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.